Not to be the nagging old lady, but I told you not to push too hard. Even I need a moment to myself occasionally. Run along now. That was a complete fiasco. <laughs> hey, for what it's worth, I think you did okay out there. You got some decent hang time, even uh, given you were wearing, what, 70, 80 pounds of chainmail? On the stark scale of reckless yet daring heroics, I give it a solid 6 out of 10. Don't worry, you'll get there, with a little help. And where exactly am I going? Oh, that's the real question, isn't it? Sky's the limit for you, my friend. <laughs> Unless you'd be up for wearing a space helmet. You do breathe air, don't you? You know what? It doesn't matter. I, I couldn't help but overhear Auntie Caretaker over there telling you to get some rest. That uh, sounds like a good idea to me. I suppose I could keep you company on the way, seeing as our rooms are in the same direction and all. Besides, no one should be forced to walk the hallways around here alone. So, here we are. The old room, huh? It's, uh, it's not bad. Functional. Solid construction. Almost cozy. Love the antique furnishings from the early Mephisto collection. Full transparency, Hunter, there's another reason I asked to join you here, other than my abject terror of this entire facility. Stopped here before, while you were out. Wanted to surprise you with a nice little housewarming present. Was all set to write you a lovely welcome note, but I'm fairly certain that wasn't red ink in your quill. But I do not have a quill. Even better. <laughs> Relax, Tony. I simply jest. It is an ink derived of the spider lily flower. Red spider lily flowers. Of course it was. Obviously. With just a touch of Manphibian blood. For power. Haha! -ha, another zinger. And we'll just leave it at that. Well, I suppose I should leave before whatever monstrosity that is most definitely hiding under your bed jumps out, rips my face off, and then proceeds to feast on my soul. I'll leave you to it. May your sleep be filled with pleasant dreams, Tony. Right back at you. Oh, and if you hear the shrieking of a grown man, please ignore it. It's just me, walking to my room. <sighs> I'm Tony Stark, but if you're hearing this message, you already know that. When I'm not saving the world, I solve the world's problems with technological means, like the one you're holding. I call it the Spark, a secure information and communication device built only for superheroes. It does all the usual, private messages, pictures, and calls for some reason. But it also comes with access to Superlink, a private social network exclusively for your cape-wearing, world-saving compatriots. You might ask, Tony, Aren't you just repurposing a failed product from your communications division? If you do, I'll revoke access and let everyone else know you're a jerk. I call it the Wonder Man rule. My old journal. Maybe it is time I start writing in it again.
There never was enough room for my armor in this thing. We were all so happy then. Let her enjoy the moment. She's been visiting your door every morning for the past 300 years. Oh, it must have been so hard on her. Not just her. I suppose that's why I might have been a little curt before. A little? You already made the ultimate sacrifice once. Maybe I'm in no rush to see you do it again. We do not choose our destiny. But we can choose to duck. First lesson you ever taught me. And still the most important. Especially now that you have all these eyes on you. I have noticed. To these people, you are a being of myth and legend. A grand hero of old. And they're right. You are a hero. But I also know the battle that rages within your soul. It's not enough that you are a hero. You need to decide what type of hero you will be. I'm sure there will be plenty of opportunity for that in the days to come. For now, I would head to the forge. Our new guests are eager to show you something. This was a lot easier when it was just you and I beheading the Dark Legion as we traipsed through the woods. Don't forget about Agatha. I never could. Charlie was restless all night. You should have known something was wrong. We'll talk more later, but for now, Stark has requested your presence in the forge. I think he has another present for you. Why, hello, Hunter. Next thing I know, the Sanctum is airborne and covered in slime. 
You'll be back to your old self in no time, kiddo. Something about the whole alien. Now? Think you can tell your friend inside there to turn it up a few hundred Kelvin? I could. However, it might shatter the containment spell preventing him from incinerating this facility. I think we're good. And just in time. The forge has certainly changed. Right. Caretaker said this all happened after your siesta. What spooky castle would be complete without its own Babylonian demon-powered furnace? Sumerian fire demon. His name is Babs. Oh, now it all makes sense. Well, once you get past the esoteric terror of the situation, I've found this thing actually has some uses. Molecular bonding, breaking down evil gamma serums, fashion accessorizing... Mm, yes, speaking of... Oh, right. It's ready. Your armor seemed to offer minimal protection against the Venom creature. I noticed. Yeah, I thought you could use an upgrade. Well hammered, well fired, Caretaker did not mention that you two were such skilled smithies. Yep, I am Iron Smithy. Perhaps you should just try it on. I still think I could have used a cloak. Mm. Stylish, damn near indestructible, and we even got the size right. Not bad for our first collaboration. I still think it could have benefited from a cloak. You think everything could benefit from a cloak? I do not. Oh, I've heard the things you whisper to your cape when you think no one's listening. Oh, the joys of sharing a workspace. And I'll have you. Hunter, your new attire suits you quite well. But how are you holding up on the inside? I know it's easy to look upon me and simply see the universe's utmost authority on all things mystical and macabre, Hunter. However, in addition to being Earth's Sorcerer Supreme, I am also your doctor. You mean a physician of the medical arts? You jest. I assure you, Hunter, I do not jest. They don't call me Mr. Strange, now do they? Except for Tony. Your awakening ritual was admittedly a touch more chaotic than I had originally intended, and, well, after your violent encounter with Venom, my oath to Hippocrates compels me to check in with you. Simply put, how do you feel? You did not awaken me to discuss feelings, Doctor. I am ready to do what I must. Ah, yes, you mean complete your prophesied destiny and bring about the destruction of your mother? I know some psychiatry professors at my alma mater that would love to talk with you. How you feel is just as important to me as your mission, Hunter. The two are innately interconnected, more than you know. I, for one, do not know if I will ever feel 100% again after the events of yesterday. I still can't believe what transpired, the sanctum, all that knowledge, Wanda, lost, swallowed whole by the black mouth of that foul venom creature. With all my resources, all my gifts, I should have seen this outcome spelled out in the sacred geometry of this universe years ago. But I miscalculated. I would rather stand down a horde of rampaging Lilin than face one of Agatha's mathematics puzzles. Sacred or not, geometry be damned. I'd be lying if I said it wasn't my least favorite requirement in pre-med. Still, 
If only I had studied harder, I would have reached some deeper understanding that could have altered this outcome. We will alter this outcome, Doctor. On that, we most certainly agree, Hunter. It's not just the Sanctum Sanctorum that was lost yesterday, it was my protege, Wanda. She was, is, my charge, my responsibility, and I failed her. But I am determined not to let that happen with you, Hunter, which is why I am here to answer any questions you may have. Perhaps my wisdom may benefit you more than it has me thus far. Tell me about your Sanctum's wards of protection. I have never heard of a protection spell that powerful. In your time, I'm sure you've encountered a variety of minor wards and protective spells. The Sanctum Sanctorum was shielded by one such incantation, but greatly amplified by the convergence of ley lines. And no one has ever broken the spell? Ever? There's always a first for everything, but I had honestly never imagined a scenario in which the wards could be broken. Perhaps it was arrogance on my part, but Lilith is among the more cunning enemies we've ever faced. How did Wanda come into your care? Wanda's story is quite tragic, and perhaps not mine to tell. There was an accident on the Abbey grounds not long ago, involving Agatha. And you have been keeping an eye on her? You make it sound like I've been guarding her. My role here is merely one of friendship for as long as she needs it. One thing is certain, she refuses to step foot on the Abbey grounds for any reason. That creature on the roof, you have run into it before? Unfortunately, yes. In the simplest of terms, Venom is an alien species living in symbiosis with a human known as Eddie Brock. He's something of a fixture in New York these days, but typically his hijinks are confined to harassing Spider-Man. How does Eddie feel about this arrangement? He seems to relish the experience. And under Lilith's spell, they've clearly become more cohesive than ever before. Let us talk later. Visit whenever you like. It's not often I get to converse with a true legend. Could you at least tell it to stop rearranging things on my side of the cave? I have, but it considers you something of a slob. I hate to admit it, but somehow this ancient forge puts any arc reactor I've got to shame. Who would have thought mystically bound demon power would be so damn energy efficient? Or carbon neutral? Certainly got that new suit of yours done a lot faster than I expected. Speaking of, what's the verdict, boss? Tell me about this demon. Why is it there? Well, you would probably know more about that than me. I'm still working on a way to keep track of everything that goes bump in the night around here. Whatever they've got trapped down there. It's hotter than hell by a few thousand Kelvin, very pissed off, and really good at weaving synthetic microblends. But tools are just one part of the equation. You gotta know how to use them, too. You were out, what, 300 years before we woke you from your eternal rest? I'm betting you have questions, so ask away, Hunter. You must have an interesting origin story of your own. Well, just your typical American boy. Pops was a founding member of the military industrial complex. Mom, a famous socialite. Tragedy struck when I lost them both in a car crash, which turned out to be a hit from a rival corporation. I spent my early teens at MIT, trying to clear my head. and was all set to follow in Dad's footsteps as a war profiteer. Then one day, fortune shined on me, in the form of some errant shrapnel that lodged itself just above my heart. So I did what anybody in that situation would do. I built a super suit and started fighting crime. 
You seem well adjusted enough, considering. Exactly. Which means there's hope for you yet. I find these apocalypse scenarios will save you tons of therapy. I take it this new version is a technological marvel? Impact-resistant carbon composites, some patent-pending alloy mesh, and a few touches from Dr. Spooky over there. And hey, the built-in communicator means we can talk to each other without sending a raven. So, it is a marvel, then? Lightweight, nearly indestructible, and modular enough for future upgrades. Frankly, I wouldn't have used your old suit to wax the Mandarin's car. Seen anything strange around here? What, other than my roommate? Boom! Roasted! But on a more serious note, this place is legitimately haunted. Mirrors look back at you, my room rearranges itself, and worst of all, magic cats. The Great Iron Man is not scared, is he? Let's just say I'll be more comfortable once I've studied the problem. I feel like I'm living on one of those paranormal investigation reality shows. Is all this magic a threat to your new technology? It might surprise some people to hear this, but I do like some things with rules. Isotope decay, magnetic fields, and gamma oscillation make a lot more sense to me than eye of newt, bat wings, and a sprinkle of sunshine. At least they did before everything changed. I cannot help but feel partially responsible. Well, I wouldn't take it personally. We were detecting changes in both magic and science months before you woke up. But yeah, things have definitely hit high gear since then. What sorts of things are you doing in here? Oh, that's right. You were out a while. Basically, we've got a gigantic demon inside the magic box here that provides near limitless power for whatever we might need. Sounds insane, but sometimes it's easier to just go with it. Okay, so why not magically create a way through that symbiote shield? Have you ever known it to work that way? We can't just wish upon a star here. We need to know what we're making first and put together the right components. Otherwise, I'd have already whipped up Strange, a new personality. Thanks for catching me up on things. Anytime. Oh, and speaking of things, remember that uh, creepy gamma goop you found from that hopped up Hydra soldier? Well, I gave it a peek, and it explains a lot. If you have a minute, meet me at the anvil over there, and I'll walk you through it. I promise it'll be worth your time. Now, I doubt advanced gamma thermodynamics was a hot topic at ye old demon hunting school, so I'm just gonna give you the condensed version. I appreciate that. Closest I've ever seen to this substance is pumping through Bruce's veins. Part gamma accelerant, part unknown element. Calling it COIL for now, given its unique atomic structure. Man, I love acronyms. This stuff is more volatile than Nick Fury on a Monday morning. But Hydra doesn't seem to mind. They are using it to get stronger. Exactly. A few drops would make your average salamander look like Fin Fang Foom. Thankfully, with a little help from Dr. Spooky and our haunted oven over here, I think two can play at this game. You are not suggesting we start injecting ourselves with it. No, 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 no. Nothing like that. Though I can see some future applications for my energy drink line, I was thinking we apply this stuff towards upgrading our equipment. I like where this is going. Just give me a little time here and I can whip up some pretty fun toys. How about we give Hydra a taste of their own gamma-powered medicine for a change? Uh, give me a sec. Okay, what's up? Got some upgrades for you, hot off the press. Or forge. I'm pretty sure Charlie left a steaming coil in the hallway. Third state of matter, indeed. Hunter, we need. 
you have a minute, come meet me in the yard. Welcome to the yard. At least that's what we're calling it these days. Caretaker put me in charge of your training. Too bad she didn't listen to me yesterday. Now that we know what we're up against, I think we can all use the practice. Any questions? I did, but they are about you. Right when it's time to train? From all Sarah told us about you, she never described you as lazy. Everyone loves you when you are dead. Tell me, does that mean you are half-loved? <laughs> she didn't describe you as a snarky jackass, but here we are. All right, Tony Stark Jr., ask your questions. Tell me about the Midnight Suns. All right. What can you tell me about the others? Nothing. Ask them yourself. I'm not asking you to break anyone's confidence. Fine. Which one? What about Robbie? He's exactly what he seems. Well, sort of. He's open with people. Easy going. Sometimes that comes across as dopey, but don't get the wrong impression. He's quick to make friends, and once he does, he's your friend for life. So don't let him down, or I'll hold it against you. Anyone else? What do you know about magic? Keeps to herself. That is it? She's a private person. Until she lets you in, that's all you need to know. When does she let people in? At her own pace. Respect that, and it'll happen faster than you think. Anyone else? Tell me about Nico. She's the youngest, but she acts like she's in charge. Why let her act like that? She's usually right, and she keeps us on track. I didn't think we'd get along, but we wouldn't be the Midnight Suns without her. What makes you say that? She has a lot of heart, and that's why we let her. Anyone else? Tell me what you think of Sarah. Well, there are few people I tolerate, even less who I like. Sarah, I respect. She sees the big picture, and we're a part of it. I'd follow her to hell if I had to. And from what I understand, we may have to. I am surprised she commands such respect. I'm surprised that you're surprised. You know what she's like more than any of us. I do. Anybody else? Nobody else. Sure. Can I ask about you? I guess. How long have you been around? I don't exactly know. I think of myself as mid-twenties, maybe. I lost a lot of time. Much of the last century was a blur. I have occasional memories, almost like coming up for air before being yanked back down into the depths. What happened? I killed a lot of vampires. I hadn't lost my mind exactly, but I got into a rhythm and never stopped. Never had a reason to stop. Not until I met Caretaker. And then? She gave me a reason to stop. How did you become a Dampier? You say that like I had a choice. I was born this way. How is that possible? A vampire bit my mother. Problem was, I was still in the womb. I'm lucky I was even born. Don't know if that's how it always is, but that's the way it went down for me. Is your name really Blade? Is your name really the Hunter? Yes. Oh, I... really? 
Your mom, before she became the mother of demons, looked into your cradle and decided to name her firstborn child The Hunter. That is how I understand it. It takes all kinds. So, is your name really Blade? No. What is it? It's private. Is it embarrassing? No, The Hunter, but I only share it with friends. You do not consider me a friend? Not yet. Don't take it personally. What brought you to the Abbey? Caretaker. About ten years ago, she brought me back to the real world. Gave me a place to stay until I came back to myself. Did she ever say why? She said she thought I'd be able to kill more vampires if I was acting on more than just instinct. But I know it was more than that. She gave me safe haven here at the Abbey. Something I'd never known. Must have read half the books in the library by the time I headed out. So when she reached out and asked me to be part of this weird little club, of course I showed up. Thanks, Blade. Mm-hmm. Sure. Nice to get some fresh air. Hardly any cobwebs or ghosts out here. Ready to work? See you around. Hunter. What's up? Can I ask about you? I guess. Is your name really Blade? Is your name really the Hunter? Yes. Oh, I... really? Your mom, before she became the mother of demons, looked into your cradle and decided to name her firstborn child the Hunter. That is how I understand it. It takes all kinds. So... is your name really Blade? No. What is it? It's private. Is it embarrassing? No, The Hunter, but I only share it with friends. You do not consider me a friend? Not yet. Don't take it personally. Thanks, Blade. Mm-hmm. Sure. Hey. Do your thing. What's up, Ancient One? Yes? You have problem? Well met. Like the way you move out there, Hunter. Guess Doctor Strange picked the right supernatural demon hunter to resurrect. I'm Carol. Carol Danvers. But you can call me Captain Marvel. Kidding. <laughs> Carol's fine. Just thought I'd throw a bone to the Avengers PR team. Not gonna lie. Going a few rounds in Vampire Guy's Magic Thunderdome sounds like fun, but we've got bigger fish to fry. Well, not so much fish as that ginormous invulnerable sewer monster that swallowed the Sanctum. Every lock has its key. True, if only a man-eating alien demon monster hadn't eaten ours. But that got me thinking. Strange Caretaker and the rest of the funky bunch can try and magic their way through that shield all they want. <sighs> if my time as a pilot taught me one thing, 
It's that sometimes you've got to find a workaround. As in Hydra. They've got to know the way inside. Steve's always said they aren't much for talking. But then again, I'm told I can be rather persuasive when I need to be. Well, if there is any time to put your powers of persuasion to work, now is the time, Captain. Trust me, Hunter, I'm looking forward to it. Hydra's been a thorn in me and Steve's asses for years. Can't wait to remove them for good. Find me in the war room when you're finished here. There's a few things we should discuss. Oh, and Hunter? Welcome back from the dead. Nothing is certain these days, but these readings are too distinct to ignore. The Gamma signature is... Sorry, Bruce, we lost you. Did you say Gamma? Yes, get. Uh, hang on a second. Come on, Tony. You may have to the Super Bowl to a free battleship 50 years. It should be easy. We waited all year for this. We know the Skrulls would have spoiled it for us if they got the chance. Well, can't you just... I don't know. I hear your training is already off to a strong start. Blade can be a valuable resource when he's in the mood. Work my magic again? Ow. The gamma signature is completely inverted. The daughter nuclei are being reabsorbed into the parent nuclei, which is impossible. If the gamma signature from the sanctum is really that unique, Bruce, then couldn't we just... Sorry, still working out a few gremlins in the system. Try sunlight, and whatever you do, avoid water. Oh, wait, you're being serious? <sighs> We should be able to track this new Gamma Signature to its source then, right? I'd do it myself, but we seem to be having a little IT trouble today. <laughs> Please. Old Central here is ready to grind through that data like chum. What exactly is a Central? C-E-N-T-R-A-L. Cognitive Encryption Net Transmogrification. Uh, we'll figure it out later. Sending coordinates now. Hope your gremlins enjoy gamma spectroscopy. Ah, well, he's been a little moody lately, ever since, you know, the problem with the big old green I guy. I heard that. Banner can't turn into the Hulk? Not sure if we should be frightened or relieved. That makes two of us. Oh, hey, come on. Happens to everyone. Well, okay, not everyone. Nice work, Bruce. I know that place. Creepy abandoned warehouse in the bad guy part of town. My favorite kind. Anybody up for paying it a visit? Definitely. Aw, see that? Teamwork goosebumps. Find me when you're ready. Multi-million dollar piece of experimental technology, and she kicks it. The two of us on the mean streets of New York? People do it beware. Stark's holographic monstrosity better not scratch my table. I can't just hop over to Atlantis and pick up another one, you know. See, trench coat, sunglasses at night, brooding personality. Something tells me these midnight warehouse raids are pretty normal for you. Gamma signatures and unstable isotopes aren't really in my wheelhouse. So we'll be patching Dr. Banner through from Avengers Town.
Probably can scratch abandoned off the description of this place. You seeing this, Bruce? Getting all sorts of weird down there. Johan Fanoff. That hack. I heard he was dead. Well, hoped is perhaps a more accurate description. Calls himself Faustus now. Hydra's resident mad scientist. Not just Hydra's. Lilith's. That's magic coming from those crates. I can feel it. Yeah? How about gamma radiation? You feeling that too? Because that's some pretty evil looking Hydra tech down there. Gamma and magic. I'm gonna need you to use your science brain on this one, Bruce. We need to approach this situation carefully. Combining those energies is an explosive proposition at best. Think scalpel, not hammer. Stealth, not strength. Yeah, I don't do stealth. Kill them. Always considered Faustus a bit of a crackpot, but his fundamental science must be sound. The device would have surely exploded otherwise after your display, Carol. Learned it by watching you, Bruce. Lilith has sent you here to die. I hope you are prepared. Not a problem. Is that all? I am impressed. I serve until the end. How many times are you gonna try that? Give up? I've never been one to buy into the science of magic, but the data I'm seeing is hard to ignore. There are more things in heaven and earth, Horatio. You know you're talking to <laughs> man. You have a resurrected demon hunter, right? are always the same. Come get it. That was something. Watch 
should get the blood pumping. Now I see why so many fear your strength. We are not out of this yet. Is it possible he somehow stabilized the rate of decay within the particles themselves? How else could he be achieving such a high yield? Well, Bruce, be sure to ask him when he's punching out the bad guys. Blade told me to mention your mother. Apparently she is promiscuous. I feel great. Perhaps Faustus's device is worth further study. If you wouldn't mind, Carol, I'd prefer it if you and your supernatural associates not... Smash it? Yes. I'm on Leave some for the rest of us. You've had this coming! That is one way of making your presence known. Go! Now! Quickly! Let's go, go, go! Ah, the perfect opportunity to field test Mother's device. For the record, Bruce, I did not smash that. Noted, Carol. Perhaps you might direct all that energy towards your newfound adversaries instead. And the mysterious cargo they're attempting to escape with? Getting better every day. I 
I saw a move like that once, centuries ago. Watch and watch. Let's do it. One more time. They are hoping to wear me down. You're starting to piss me off. They've got friends. Preliminary analysis of the blast confirms high levels of gamma and various unknown energies. Unknown to you, there is dark magic. Not let Hydra escape with it. You are a force to be reckoned with. This shall be of great help. Just like old times. A fool. Luckily, I'm a glutton for punishment. I'm built up for spawning. won't be able to recreate Faustus's experiment or track potential future variance gamma signatures without a baseline resonance sample from his initial occult gallery. Got it. Stop the truck. Your loyalty to the mother of demons will be your undoing. Kiss the mother with that mouth? There was a time when Lilith had the highest of standards for her minions. That time has clearly passed. I almost felt that. 
that one. I really want to get on my bad side. I just don't know when to quit. We stand with the mother. Ah, these delays can be quite frustrating. Infuriating, even. I suppose by now I'd normally be tromping through the warehouse, hurling the puny truck at the moon. Don't worry, Bruce. I've got a pair of torn purple pants with your name on them. Never seen that before. One less thing to worry about. Approximately 16,342 more to go. I suggest starting with the remaining Hydra forces in your vicinity. The battlefield is ours. is wrong. I'm glad they're feeling confident. Ready up. that near Don't make the same mistake twice. 